Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Every Day, Better Every Day YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So um, apparently on Ronnie Radke's live stream on Monday, May 30th, 2022, he had spoke a little bit about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial, which has been televised and millions of people have been watching it. I know if you scroll YouTube, there, like on any given day, especially when Johnny was on the stand and somewhat when Amber was on the stand, if you scroll through YouTube, for example, when Johnny was on the stand, there were several live streams of that, of his testimony, his cross-examination, and each of those live streams would have tens of thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of viewers. So a lot of people have watched this and the vast majority of people that I know of and have seen have come to one conclusion, but there's of course a, uh, you know, some outliers. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on. The point was that this is um, Ronnie Radke's stream during which he had spoke about about the trial and I was interested in what he had to say and I thought maybe you all would be as well. So let me get the volume right. Here we go. Why is it working? Oh. Courtney! Is that, yeah, Courtney, thank you. Fucking jeez. Shells react, thank you. I did watch the entire debt versus her case. I thought it was absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, I related to it so much. I've gotten accused of so many terrible things and I just, I hate Amber Heard with a passion. I think she's fucking terrible. <laughs> You can see right through her lies. You can tell mm. she's lying, man. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we're all, all right. Once we get to 400 subs, I'll fucking start this shit. We're almost there. Wow. He sounds great as a chipmunk. <laughs> I think the worst decision they ever made was televising it, honestly. Why do you think it was the worst decision they ever made? To televise it. Tactical, thank you. I think it was a, a great decision. Because women women are, it's, people are so used to women saying whatever they want about fucking men. So, yeah. oh, this man broke my heart. You know what I'm going to say? That he raped me and he beat me. And it's not true. No, That's why Johnny girls. Depp wanted it to be streamed live, done that. so he could see her crumble. You know what I mean? They should. I'm glad they streamed it live. You could see. You yeah. could see it. Anybody that anybody watch that shit? She crumbled. It was crazy. It was so very obvious. Yeah made you realize a lot men men need there's a lot of men out there that have been falsely accused of of stuff they didn't they never did yeah so tell me this why don't why doesn't uh why doesn't women why aren't women going to jail after they get caught fucking lying about something so crazy dude yeah like you lie like Amber Heard should go to prison. She should go to jail for that, dude. Yeah. You would think. Like for saying that he sexually assaulted her, it's so obvious he did not do that. The evidence clearly shows that, man. Like, come on. Shouldn't she go to jail for that? That's crazy. That's life altering. False That's accusations. a terrible thing. You, can't, you yeah. shouldn't be able to say that. Makes sense. You would think. <clears throat> is that a crime lying false accusation it's just wrong and i just think that women should start be going to jail for lying if they get caught lying and and it goes to court and everything and it goes through the process it should be the same you know i'm sure everyone here is agreeing with that 
If you don't agree with that, you're mentally unstable. Come on. That's a fair <laughs> assessment. It's a fair judgment. Women that lie about men should go to prison, go to jail, right? Correct? A I mean, lie about men. I don't know why that's... Abuse, like, yeah. How is that not a thing, dude? How is that not a thing? Have you noticed that it's, it's not a, really a big deal? People go on Twitter and they'll be like, he did this, he did that, he did this. And then the person will come out and be like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, I didn't. Yeah. And then the other person will be like, they'll delete their tweets. And then they'll just move on with their life like it, like nothing ever happened. Yeah. Like you could just go tweet something that's like literally the worst thing ever. And if somebody's like, no, that didn't happen and it didn't happen, then they just delete their tweets and go yeah. about their day. No, your life should be fucking ruined for yeah. that. For a, a good two years at least. There are a fair amount of females that I have known, not necessarily close friends, but there are a fair amount of females I have known that have made false accusations on men. And a lot of it comes behind when they do not get their way with a relationship or, you know, let's say, uh, let's say a girl named... Barbara really wants Tommy and they're sleeping together, but Tommy's also sleeping with other people and Barbara wants Tommy all to her herself and Tommy refuses. He, whatever it is she wants, Tommy doesn't give. So then what was her name? Barbara just decides she wants to hurt Tommy and make him hurt like she does. So she starts spreading these rumors that Tommy said un inappropriate things to her. Or if it's a guy at work that she wants to date, doesn't want her, then she'll sex or uh, complain for sexual harassment, for example. Or there's just, it's really sad and frustrating because it does happen a lot, a lot. And it makes it, It kind of takes away from when someone does have something happening. Um, you know, it's like the boy who cried wolf. If you have a um, hundred boys in a school and you have people crying wolf all the time and a lot of them turn out to be fake, then when someone does cry wolf, how do you... I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pause and go off on that. Hopefully you got the point was... It happens a lot and I understand what he is saying and if it isn't illegal for a girl to or for a female to say that a man has sexually assaulted her one of something under you know is it title nine sexual harassment sexual assault those kinds of things if it is an outright lie there should be consequences you see what he's saying there for that for a good two years at least Period. You know what I mean? Yep. Just saying, man. Yeah, Johnny Depp was a fucking drug addict, of course, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but like, there was the, the the part where she, the part where she was like <gasps> crying with no tears. She's like, <laughs> and he was punching me on the ground repeatedly, over and over. Did she noticed the nice floor. I remember looking at the carpet. Yeah. And I just <laughs> remember wishing this would end. Like, dude, if you get punched over and over and over by a man, your pictures that you provided, your whole face is going to be fucking destroyed. It's it's yeah. just so obvious that she's lying. You know, especially what I mean? if he's on something. Just saying. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna move on. We don't need that negativity. Someone asked me a question. I'm very passionate about that. I think that women should go to jail for lying oh. about something so serious. Yeah. Period. Agreed. And men, obviously. A lot of, you don't hear stories about men just straight up lying about a woman hitting them though. You know what I mean? That's not really a thing. She broke my jawbone. I love the lawyer, Johnny Depp's lawyer making that point at the very end about the um, Amber saying that Johnny abused and abused and abused and Amber recorded Johnny without his knowing mm. on multiple occasions. But yet there is no evidence 
or recordings or anything over the years of him being secretly recorded. Which is really weird. Happening. But there is recordings of her admitting to beating the shit out of him. <laughs> it is weird how much was recorded. <laughs> like, how do you not know you're being recorded all the time? Hey, man, people are allowed to... Uh, I mean, I, I think the people that voted Amber are just trolling. There's no fucking way. It's and they it, and they didn't watch the they didn't watch the trial. They, they if they watch the trial and they're still back in her, then they're not right in the head. No way, dude. It's so obvious. I watched me and Soraya watched the whole trial from beginning to end. Soraya, I've been That's pronouncing it wrong because I was getting tattooed anyways, and I can't even go to the gym right now. I'm almost done though, but uh, so we just had to sit there while I I'm done or healing and stuff, you know, but. So it's a perfect timing to get tattooed. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I was trying to hide. I have an ashtray over here. So I wanted to not close that out. I don't want anybody to see the ashtray. I feel like what he was saying is what most rational people would like I, I don't foresee very many people disagreeing with, with what Ronnie Radke just said I know the first time the hashtag uh, I stand with Amber Heard was trending I tweeted and I said if your girl is tweeting hashtag I stand with Amber Heard you, I, you know I advise you to run or something like that that wasn't word for word but you know um I don't think anyone who would use, who would be backing Amber right now, watched the trial. Um, and, or they just, they don't want to acknowledge things, which there are lots of people who don't want to acknowledge realities. Uh, anyway, uh, that was cool to hear his thoughts on it. I don't know how much he talks about things like that. From what I understand on his live streams, he usually watches reactions and plays video games. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you thought and what you think of the trial. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.